Every man takes the limit of his own field of vision as the limits of the world. The German researcher Albert scientifically proved in 1974 the existence of light and energy around the human body in terms of a biophoton field. And apparently, every time the seminal fluid is wasted, the individual gradually descends on the scale of energy levels proposed by Dr. David Hawkins in his book, Power vs. Strength, and I will talk about this in the course of this video. Continuing in his research, Dr. Pop also demonstrated that these biophotons originate in our DNA and are similar in nature to lasers. He developed the theory of biophotons to explain their biological function and the ways in which they help control biochemical processes in our body. Like Dr. Pop, there is an emerging trend of physicians who recognize that a much more powerful approach to approaching a deeper understanding of the human system is based on physics rather than chemistry, which is wrapped up in big pharma business. In that order, many scientists are beginning to recognize that the body is not only composed of tissues, blood vessels and organs, but is also composed of energy or chi, as it's known in traditional Chinese medicine. However, this energetic model was already known millennia ago by Tibetan medicine, traditional Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. Continuing, this energy circulates through the body through its microcosmic orbit, which according to yogic sciences is composed of 72,000 channels, energy points or specific meridians distributed throughout the body. In fact, acupuncture is a well-known millinery science used to manipulate the flow of these meridians in order to stimulate the healing of specific organs of the body. Then research on the biophoton field has shown that the body emits visible light a thousand times less than the levels that can be seen with the naked eye. Recall that the visible spectrum is limited by our brain processing for example, the average human eye cannot perceive wavelengths below red and above violet. But this does not mean that these upper and lower wavelengths do not exist. Now, this biophoton field or the auric field that surrounds us behaves in different ways according to the hours of the day and according to the nature of our emotional states, as can be evidenced in the scale of energy levels or levels of consciousness from the research of Dr. David Hawkins. Let us remember that the frequent loss of vital fluid or semen has a direct effect on our body as well as on our mind or mood. For everything is interconnected both inside and outside of us, a specific fact that was talked about in Hermetics millennia ago, as is inside is outside, but more on this later. As for the behavior of this biophoton field over the course of the day, to get more information about this faint visible light, scientists in Japan employed extraordinary sensitive cameras capable of detecting individual photons. Recall that photons are the elementary particles that make up light. Continuing, five healthy male volunteers in their 20s were placed with their naked bodies in front of the cameras in complete darkness in closed rooms for 20 minutes every three hours. The researchers found that the body brightness increased and decreased throughout the day, with its lowest point at 10 am and its highest point at 4 pm dropping gradually after that time. Now, emotional states or levels of consciousness below 200 on the Dr. Hawkins scale, such as guilt, fear, apathy and suffering, weaken all dimensions of our existence, such as our physical, mental, emotional and energetic body and this directly influences our perception and our relationship with everything around us. In that order, the loss of masculine essence caused by ejaculation is not limited to the physical sphere, but the mental, emotional and energetic functions are deeply influenced. In fact, Chinese medicine already observed long ago that the cruel crimes are committed after the loss of seminal fluid, for after ejaculation, the mood of courage is usually at a low point. The individual is easily frightened and reacts violently. 
And this is one of the reasons why rape is sometimes followed by murder and mutilation. To increase and balance your energy levels, consume foods high in photons or sunlight, such as fruits and vegetables. Avoid saturating your dopamine levels with pornography and excessive ejaculation. Transform your pure sexual energy into refined subtle energy. Take cold showers, avoid junk food and sugary drinks, meditate, get adequate sunlight and exercise regularly. Thank you for watching the video.